but we're wondering if you have a, a different outlook on talent that, you know, on the other side of this pandemic, you, you, you might look at talent a little differently or the current environment is forcing you to look at it a little differently. What would you tell us? Yeah, so we had kind of an interesting um, pandemic experience because we acquired three businesses uh, during the pandemic, uh, including two at one time. So we, we more than doubled the size of the organization through M&A during the pandemic. And what that, I, I think that was really a catalyst for us embracing, you know, a remote first um, work approach. After all, really our business is about digital transformation. So it was kind of um, natural is maybe too strong of a word, but it was it was very comfortable to evaluate businesses online and virtually, and then try to assimilate them from there. I'm not saying we did everything perfectly. We learned a lot um, when you acquire companies, you know, uh, during a pandemic, but it definitely solidified our bias around remote first work for our business. There are some nuances there, you know, team to team and roll to roll, it's a little different. But for the most part, we have a strong remote first bias. I think the big learning, and I've talked to a lot of CFOs about this. So, you know, I think there's a lot of resonance around this. I think, you know, the idea of hiring your accounting team, um, either across the US or even remotely, we employ a lot of folks in, in India, is, is, is pretty embraced at a certain scale and, and can definitely work, um, particularly with all the remote work. And that's great. I think the challenge is not the efficiency that you get, but it's really the early uh, manager and individual contributor effectiveness. How do you get managers to make sure they're getting the most out of their employees when they're remote and maybe they're early in their career and they need more training than someone who's a little farther along. So I really think what's coming in this next phase is more focus on training and development for managers to make sure that they're delivering feedback in the right way, right? Sometimes, you know, feedback over Zoom is a little different than feedback face-to-face. -face. And so I think it's really about coaching up some of the managerial skills to make sure you're getting the most of, of the team. I think in general, we all get the efficiency, not spending here in the Bay Area an hour and a half or two hours in your car every day commuting. That's great. You get that time back. But what are you doing with that time? And, and do you have managers who are kind of getting the most out of uh, the team 